style. Something often linked with cars, sporty, fashionable cars, but not often associated with estate cars. Until now, because now we seem to have the stylish estate car, things like the Alfa Romeo Sport Wagon, and this one from Mercedes. It's a lifestyle estate, another lifestyle estate. What lifestyle? What if your lifestyle involves sitting in front of the telly a lot, eating chips, not going anywhere, or carrying really, really huge stuff around? Then it's not going to be any use to you, is it? I kind of think I know what they mean. I think they're talking about those people who drive up and down the motorway with surfboards and skis and canoes strapped to the top of their car. Personally, I think the best thing for all of them would be to be made to strap their surfboards onto a skateboard and pump that at the M6, but never mind. Mercedes claim that their new C-Class is finding brand new Merc customers all over the country, and a lot of them young, which is exactly what they want to achieve with the car. And it certainly does look younger, brighter and fresher than any other Merc. It's available with six engines, amongst which are two diesels, one of which has five cylinders and delivers 170 brake. Anyway, this is a 3.2 litre V6 petrol version, which is even more powerful and even more fun, obviously. Both the C-Class Estate and its lovely little sister, the Sport Coupe, were not simply rehashed versions of the C-Class Saloon upon which they are based. They were both designed at the same time as the Saloon, and so can claim to be cars in their own right, which does shine through in the very finished design. It may be sporty and lifestyle, but it is still a Mercedes, so it is still quite poor. You do want to get a fair bit of kit for your money. And they're not as tight as they used to be. You get automatic climate control, snazzy leather trim on the steering wheel, this nice aluminium effect on the dashboard. You can start uh, adding the odd bit on, obviously, and it can start getting a bit expensive if you want to put leather into it, if you want to go for fully electric seats. But then, it is a prestige motor. After all, nobody ever sang, oh lord, won't you buy me a pair of a nipper? Hmm, I think there's probably a very good reason for that. Now, so far, we have majored on the performance and the looks of the thing, but it is still a practical estate car, and it does still have a big boot, though not the biggest. And more importantly, things like this flat load lip, so you can get in very easily. When these are folded down, you have a completely flat load space. It's got a very nifty and sturdy-looking luggage cover for once, and best of all, a stylish shopping crate. Now, now I've really arrived. Mercedes are currently expending huge amounts of energy in desperately trying to shed their rather fuddy-duddy image and appeal to a younger buyer. And with their ever-expanding range and the arrival of the new C-Class, they're doing a very good job of it. No doubt about it, people want to buy these sporty, lifestyle little estates. This one starts from, what, 22,000 and rises to about 37 for this version with all the bells and whistles on, which isn't too bad. You have got to consider, though, that the Alfa Romeo Sport Wagon starts for thousands less than the cheapest version of this, but then this is still a Mercedes and still feels, drives and looks like a Mercedes.